a lot of the things they ask in these statistics and stuff like that aren't about us. Mm -hmm. So we can just dismiss that. The second thing I will say is, if we're going to rate success based on Western views, which means what white people say is considered successful, yeah, mm -hmm. we're all going to fall short. Because these views have never been made for us. Right. Remember, we were considered three-fifths of a human being in this country. Since, since 17, when this country, 1774, mm -hmm. we weren't considered humans. Low-key So since not. we weren't considered humans, why would we ever listen to their rhetoric about how we're supposed to behave? Mm-hmm. That's why I say find out what works for you. I know somebody point. who listened to Dr. Umar when I see it. <laughs> uh, uh, a woke king. I know that's right, brother. I what do you Dr. call Umar. the Dr. Umar? I, I, the Dr. Umar. I don't know. But the Umar is? <laughs> Listen, I'm not 100% always in agreement with everything Dr. Umar says. But he low-key. He be, but he be when eating he talks, sometimes. He when he cooking. talks about the black family, though, yeah. Yeah. he know he what he's talking cooking. about. He, he be, be cooking. cooking when he talk about the black family. If you look at the history of this country, we like nothing they talk about when they talk about family relationships is ever with us. Right. Mm -hmm. But I then we that. will look at those things and say, well, percentages say the percentages don't include us. That was mm -hmm. a great point because I never thought about that. Because honestly, when they talk about statistics, like he said, you have been married for what, 12 years? 14, said, 14 years. 14 22 years. 22 with my wife. Four kids, 22 years. And ain't nobody asked you shit. Never. First time you asked was when Lex and Droy asked. And you, you should be saying? the prime candidate. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll give y'all another statistic, right? What's the narrative that we hear about black men? They don't get married. They don't, no, no, no. They don't like who? Oh, they don't like black, black women. women. Well, yeah. Right? So, the national average for black men who are married, what are they married to? It's got to be black women. Black women. At what percentage? Ooh. Over 85%. Mm -hmm. So here, Do that. here's another one. Here's Come another on, one. But it don't matter, though, because once they make money, that's when they go get white women. The white women, yeah. The, the national average for making over $200,000, black men, right? Mm -hmm. How many of those women, men are married to black women? I'll give them about a cool... 95%. Oh. 95? This is why I'm... I believe it. I is, do believe it. Listen, because they'll show you. They'll show you the one black athlete who may be married to... A white woman, mm -hmm. right? But then think about Russell Westbrook, Russell Wilson, mm -hmm. LeBron James, Steph Curry. I can keep going and going. going. Willie Colon, uh, who else? These I'm talking about my friends now that I know. Yeah. Stephen Bowen, Marcus Colston, Kyle Aronson, all married, all wealthy, mm -hmm. made money, married. all married to black women. And then when you hear the horror stories, we got to talk about Scotty Pippen. You see what I'm saying? Girl... <laughs> What what I'm Lex Lex, Lex she, something no, I'm is wrong with her. But no, but Your bitch outside with future is crazy. Lex has a good point though because they'll show the Scotty Pippen, right? And they'll say, look, this is how black men behave. Yeah. But that's not the fact. I'm married to a black woman. My woman is black. Mm. She's Jamaican and Vincentian. Her mom is black as a motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Her grandmother black as a motherfucker. Mm -hmm. But they'll never push that out there because it don't fall in line with the narrative they yeah, want. Narrative you got to understand that destroying the black family has been on the 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 forefront of the mind of the people who created this country, mm -hmm. right? We weren't allowed to get married first, right? And even when we got married, there was a lot of times they took our women and raped our women and we had to watch mm -hmm. yeah. because they do not want us to get together because if you have black, the black family and we continue to work together, what's going to happen to the wealth that happens in this country? It's going to go to who? Black people. Our kids. Yeah. How do you destroy the, the black wealth in this country? Yeah. Destroy the black family. Mm -hmm. Make black women think that black men don't love them. Make black men think that black women don't respect them. That's all a fallacy. Yeah. It's not true. Like, like, the older I get, I'm 40 years old now, the more I realize that everything I've learned from mass media has been programmed by people who have an agenda. Mm -hmm. And I'm not a conspiracy theorist. Yeah. But, I mean, I'm not, but it is what it is. Right. See it, you see what I'm saying? I mean, because... I oh we had this conversation a while back with a guest that we had, and I can't remember, but we were basically talking about, um, like government assistance and housing mm -hmm. and things like that. And they were saying how literally, like, if you are a struggling, you know, woman and you're on housing, you can't have a man in the house. You can't. Purposefully. Yeah. The minute you have a man in the house, they will take they away will your take assistance. Away. Yeah. So you know what people started to do in the 70s? I know this because I have family who've been through this. Dad may common be in the man. home. Common law marriage because men were just like, if I marry you, you can't get the assistance. Mm -hmm. I also won't be there when the person who comes and checks on the house and the kids. Mm -hmm. So when they come by, they say, oh, this woman here by herself. The dad will be in the closet. The dad will be somewhere else. I have I have family members who I watch go through this. Mm -hmm. And they're like, you know the government coming by. Yeah. But the reason why they do that is to be able to, to get what they need from the government. And, and I hate to say this. 
to say this, bro. But I'm gonna say this. Matter of fact, I'm not gonna say it because I might even give her name. But there is a talking head mm-hmm. who always speaks about the black family and the black community. Okay. Mm-hmm. And because we have painted her as a villain, we won't listen to what her messages are. Mm-hmm. I don't agree with all of her messages. That's why I won't accept her. I won't say her name because I, I, I won't even I give her. Say. I think you do. Yeah. Yeah. I won't give her any press on your platform. Because I don't right. think it's fair because of what you do. So I won't do that. But when you listen to some of the things she says, mm-hmm. she's absolutely true. Mm-hmm. The black, black people in this country are the best when we are together. Mm-hmm. You look at Black Wall Street. Yep. Right? The minute we start to work together, they tear it down. Yep. Right? And they tear it down. They, they tear us apart. And they tell us all the time, mass incarceration was the same thing. How can we get black fathers out of the house? Mm-hmm. Let's put them in prison. Right? Let's look at the, the voting cycle, right? Only 4% of black men in this country voted this year. Only are you four, not, not 4% of black men. 4% of the voting population were black men. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, okay. And the first thing they'll say is, mind you, we're only 15% of the population. The first yeah. thing they say is black men don't vote. But what they won't say is that 80% of the prison population is Ain't black right. men. Yeah. And if they can't vote, it brings down the numbers. But rather than say that, you know what they'll say? Black men don't vote and they won't vote for Kamala. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? It's like, it's like they just do things in order to tear us apart. And we have to do a good job, yeah. a, a better job of staying together. Which yeah. is so crazy because it's like, how do we live in a country where felons can't vote, but one can be the president? But that's another topic. Because this country oh. was never made for us. Think about it. Crazy. This constitution and everything was made for white men. And I'm not going to lie. I have seen that narrative a lot today because um, obviously when y'all see this episode, we already know that yeah. Trump has won Again. Uh, president. Yeah. And um, it's been a lot of the narrative that they were trying to blame, you know, like bl- the black men and all this stuff. But when you saw um, the voting and everything they had. The statistics, yeah. Uh, I think 79% of black men. 78% yeah. of black men voted for Kamala. Because I said that to my man and he went off on me. <laughs> What you said And to him? he sent me the stats. What you said? Yeah. You said black men ain't voting for him? I was like, I feel like black men didn't show up enough. And he was like, hold on. Oh, he going to get them numbers out. That's one thing. 78, about he gonna pull 78 out percent. And I was like, oh, my bad. I'm sorry. No, but but I mean, this is this is really important yeah. for us as a community of people to stop pointing the finger at each That's other. Yeah. And let me sit down with some queens. Mm-hmm. Not for nothing. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Right? I'm not going to lie to y'all. The first, the minute my team said to me, yo, you going to go to the poor minds. Mm-hmm. You know why? I want to sit down with black women and discuss about relationships. I, yeah. I told you, I've been watching y'all. I've seen this. I want to discuss it so that it doesn't have to be combative. Mm-hmm. Right. I mean, you know, you know what? what? I'll say true. this too. A long time ago, we decided to stop that gender war because we used to do that a lot too. We did. Mm-hmm. We were in that gender war like, oh. They used to say we was male bashers. Mm-hmm. I never felt yeah. like we were, to be honest. I just think we had a lot of differing opinions. Mm-hmm. You know? can, I, can I be honest? Sure. I never thought that y'all were male bashers. Thank you. But I did think that based on what you've lived through in your life, Mm -hmm. you told your truth. And the the truth is, a lot of people don't want to hear your truth if it doesn't fit what they want it to be. Right. So I can understand why you got that label. Not saying that it was fair, Mm -hmm. but I mean, I I get the same label too. If I I tell my truth about life, Mm -hmm. whoever is on the opposite side of that truth is going to feel like I'm bashing them. You know, and or I got to receive, yeah, or they right. say I'm misogynistic. Like I, and that, and and that goes to a good point because that's why our community is so separated. Because you'll say one thing, they'll be ready to cancel you, and not yeah. solidarity. One thing about them white folks, they, they gonna, gonna be together. together. They gonna stick together. Are they? But are they? But I'm gonna challenge you on this. 